The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Pompano Beach High takes on Cypress Bay High tonight on School Duel. <laughs> to School Duel, where 53 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties competed to be part of the show. The top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds, where they battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And the winners walk away with the school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. And new to our show this year, each team advancing to the semifinals qualifies for the National Academic Championship. Details on this competition are at QUnlimited.com. Now, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, this quarterfinal game features Pompano Beach versus Cypress Bay in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. <laughs> right, a lot of excitement in the air. But you know there's more, because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. That's right. Very delicious. All right, teams, let's get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here, it's school against school, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, get ready and prepare for the warning shot. Your first question deals with sea creatures. What gooey creatures, ocean varieties like the sea nettle and sea wasp can give you a painful sting? Jake? Jellyfish. Yes. All right. <laughs> Next question deals with presidents. In 1859, American author Washington Irving wrote a five-volume biography of Jake. George Washington. Correct. Good job. <laughs> All right, moving along to sports. This indoor game features a five-by-nine-foot table and a six-foot-long, yes, Austin? Uh, ping pong? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Here we go, moving on to birds. It makes its nest on the ground, lining it with moss and feathers. I'm referring to the... Yes, Sylvia? Seagull. Incorrect, Cypress Bay. I'm referring to the snowy species of which nocturnal bird of prey? Yes, Jake? Owl. Yes, good job. <laughs> moving on to fruits. Pink lady, Fuji. Yes, Jake? Apple. Yes, good job. <laughs> Rock and roll. Mick Jagger is still the lead singer of... Craig? The Rolling Stones. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Foreign countries. Name the huge Asian country where many people speak English from its days as a colony of England. Sylvia. China. Incorrect. Cypress Bay. Matt? India. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the What Am I question brought to you by Flashback Diner. This is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. The first school to buzz in and answer correctly will get the points. So is everyone ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, well, here goes. According to popular account, this candy was made to keep children quiet in church during Christmas Eve and was made with a crook on top to remind children, yes, Matt? Candy canes? Correct, good job. <laughs> and nearly two billion candy canes will be sold in the four weeks before Christmas and Hanukkah. All right, let's move on to novels. Eurasia and East Asia are supercontinents mentioned in what novel by George Orwell, William? 1984. Correct. Good job. <laughs> All right, sciences. Optometry is the study of eye diseases. Matt? Ophthalmology. Incorrect. Pompano Beach, can you spell the word optometry? <laughs> Sylvia? O-P-T-O-M-E-T-R-Y. Correct. Good job. All right, let's move on to elections. 
To be re-elected as president, Barack Obama needed 270 of them. Or, yes, Alfred? Electoral votes. Correct. <laughs> disease. People who develop Hodgkin's disease or non-Hodgkin's disease. Yes, Austin? Lymphoma. Incorrect. Cypress Bay, listen carefully. People who develop Hodgkin's disease or non-Hodgkin's disease in their lymphatic system are suffering from a form of what deadly disease? Craig? Cancer. Yes. All right, let's move on to cars. When first put into your car, it looks brown, but it usually turns black by the time. Alfred? Oil. Yes. Very good. All right, presidential states. After serving as president, U.S. President John Quincy Adams spent nearly 20 years. Craig? Massachusetts. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Country music. This son of a major league baseball pitcher sings with his... Yes, Craig? Tim McGraw. Yes. Awesome job. Go on a roll. Sports. The ball in the game of rugby is shaped a lot like the ball in... Sylvia? Football. Yes, good job. All right, that buzzer means the end of the warning shot round. Exciting first round going as Cypress Bay is leading with 110 points. Pompano Beach has 50 points, but don't go anywhere because we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School duel, our first round of action ended with an adjustment of the score during the break. Pompano Beach was correct when they answered lymphoma, so they received their 10 points. Therefore, Cypress Bay's points had to be adjusted because they did not technically steal the question. All right, now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with the Pompano Beach Tornadoes. Welcome. <laughs> Yes, they are back, starting with Tyler, who is a senior. And Tyler, let me ask you, if there were a movie made based on your life, what would the movie be called? I would have to go with Life with the Fro. Life with the Fro, <laughs> I like it. Sounds interesting. Probably got a lot of stories to tell, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right, next to you is Austin, who is a junior. Welcome back, Austin. And what's the movie title of your life? Well, I'm really into basketball, so I think if I had to pick a movie title, I'd go with The Dwight Howard of Broward. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Sounds interesting. And next to you is Sylvia, who is a junior. Welcome. Hi. Hi. And what's the name of your movie? Well, mine would be a little more sentimental, uh, The Pursuit of Happiness. I like that very much. And you're the only lady on the team today, so you're going to get special privileges from me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And the captain of Bob and Beach's team is Alfred, who is a okay. senior. Alfred. What is the title of your Academy Award winning movie? Well, my last name is Lynn, so my movie would be Lynn Sanity. Ah, oh, nice. Sounds good. But let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They are from Cypress Bay, and they are the Lightning. Welcome. <laughs> we will start off with William, who is a senior, and you guys are returning as well. So, William, same question to you. If there were a story, a movie based on your life, what would the title of the movie be called? Well, uh, considering my work ethic, probably the day after tomorrow. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Let's ponder on that one a bit. And then move on to Jake. Jake, you're a junior. <laughs> Welcome. Nice having you here again. And what's the title of your movie? Uh, I would have to go with Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, well, my friends and I, we love to uh, 
We're taking over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. You're very intelligent. I take it. I Sounds hope. good. And next to you is Matt, who's a senior. Matt, what's your movie title? I would have to go with Cool Runnings. Oh, are you Jamaican? Uh, I also bobsled. I'm Jamaican <laughs> and I bobsled. Good. I love it. Yes, and next to you is the captain of Cypress Bay's team, Craig. Welcome, and you are a senior. And your movie? Well, first, I want to give a shout out to our advisor, Mr. Worcester, who's super awesome. And my movie would have would have to be Eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, now that we know both teams and everyone here, that's right, round of applause for both teams. It is time to move on to round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head to head with a 10 point toss up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their schools worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Craig, Alfred. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. On what month, day, did two jets crash into the Twin Towers? Yes, Craig? September 11th. Correct, good job. <laughs> Cypress Bay, the following bonus questions deal with the 9-11 attacks. Bonus question number one, worth five points. In what year was the September? Yes, Jake? 2000 or 2001. Correct, good job. <laughs> Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. In what year was Osama bin Laden killed, Jake? 2011. <laughs> there you go. All right. Bonus question number three worth 15 points. A fourth plane targeted Washington, D.C. Yes, Craig? The White House. Incorrect, I was gonna say, but after the passengers tried to overtake the hijackers, it crashed in a field in Pennsylvania the answer. All right, so let's move on to Sylvia and Matt. Come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What sex chromosome from the father is necessary for, yes, Sylvia? Why? Correct, good job. And that's for the child to be a boy. All right, Pompano Beach, the following bonus questions all deal with genetics. Bonus question number one is worth five points. James Watson and Francis Crick were two co-discoverers of the structure of what molecule important Alfred? DNA. Yes, good job. Here's your second bonus question. This one's now worth 10 points. Human cells normally have how many pair of chromosomes? Sylvia. 23. Correct, good job. <laughs> bonus question number three is worth 15 points. Working with pea plants, who earned his reputation as the father of, yes, Sylvia? Mendel. Correct, good job. All right, Austin, Jay, come on down. It is your turn to joust. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss of question worth 10 points. What is the capital of the state that is home? Uh-oh, Austin? Mm, Salem. Oh, no, incorrect. Jake, listen carefully. What is the capital of the state that is home to the National Football League team called the Buccaneers? Jefferson City. Incorrect, that's Tallahassee. But don't worry, you both will stay right there. I have another question for you. What is the capital of the state that is home to the National Football League team called the Colts? Yes, Austin. Indianapolis. Yes, very good. All right, Pompano Beach. The following bonus questions all deal with identifying the capital of the state that is home to each of the following NFL teams. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Identify the capital of the state that is home to the NFL's Falcons. Yes, Austin. Atlanta. Yes, good job. Your second bonus question is worth 10 points. Identify the capital of the state that is home to the NFL Steelers. Yes, Austin. Harrisburg. Yes. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Identify the capital of the state that is home to the NFL's Packers. Tyler. Madison. Very good. All right, Tyler, William, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Name any single year during which the American Revolution took place. Yes, Tyler. 1778. Very good. All right. All right, Papa Noel Beach, we're back at you. The following bonus questions all deal with giving any year during other wars, okay? Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name any single year during which World War II took place. Yes, Alfred? 1940. Correct, good job. 
Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Name any single year during which World War I took place. Yes, Alfred? 1917. Correct. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Name any single year during which the U.S. Civil War took place. Alfred? 1862. Very good. Little sweep there, huh? Poppin' Up Beach leading with 180 points. Cyperspace says we're coming for you. We have 125 points. So don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bbed.net while there's still space available. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. This quarterfinal match has Pompano Beach competing against Cypress Bay. The current score is Pompano's leading with 180 points. Cypress Bay has 125 points. We are now ready for the rapid fire round. During this round, the teams will receive a category of questions to answer within 60 seconds. Each question is worth 10 points. And if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school will have the opportunity to steal the points. Now, since Cypress Bay is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. Today's choices are starts with D and starts with L. So which would you like, Cypress Bay? We're going to go with starts with L, as in Lisa. All right. I like that a lot. All right, schools, here comes rapid fire. Cypress Bay starts with L. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter L. Each question is worth 10 points, and you have 60 seconds to answer them. So are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's cue yeah. music and begin. It works with your cornea to refract light. Yes, Jake? Lens. First name of composer Beethoven. Ludwig. Patrick Henry was quoted, give me this or give me... Liberty. Thunder's partner. Lightning. International peacekeeping organization formed after World War I. League of Nations. Common state of matter fitting the category? Liquid. Zero in a tennis game? Love. Home city of the University of Wyoming? Lansing. Trash collection and holding facility? Landfill. Vertical lines on a globe? Latitude. Oh, guys, we got through all your questions and you only missed two questions. So, good job. Pompano Beach, you can now steal the two questions that they missed, starting with home city of the University of Wyoming. Yes, Tyler? Loyola. That would be Laramie. All right, and the next one is vertical lines on a globe. Yes, Austin? Longitude. Correct, good job. All right, Pompano Beach starts with D as your category. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter D. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. So are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's cue music and begin. Macy's, Coles, and Target, for example, two words. Department store. A mule is a cross between a horse and this. Donkey. Share of the profits given to a company's shareholders. Pass. Oh, no. Scandinavian country that borders on Germany. Denmark. Genetic opposite of recess, recessive. Dominant. Body system responsible for the chemical breakdown of food. Digestive. Actor in Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and Meet the Parents? De Niro. NHL, Pacific Division team, nicknamed the Stars? Dallas. Adjective for someone deprived of their chance to vote? Disenfranchised. Home city of Duke University? Durham. 
Very good. We got through all of your questions. You guys only missed one question, so Cypress Bay, let's see if you know the answer. Share of the profits given to a company shareholders. Yes, Matt? Dividend. Very good. Here's my buzzer, and that means the end to the rapid fire round. Coffin Up Beach is holding on to its lead. The current score is 280 to Cypress Bay's 215. But don't go anywhere. We are going to take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And we're back with School Duel. We've got a good quarterfinal round match going as Pompano Beach holds on to its lead with 280 points over Cypress Bay's 215 points. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the semifinals. It is now time for the final showdown. First question deals with forts. Name the fort at the entrance to the harbor of Charleston, South Carolina that, yes, Alfred? Fort McHenry. Incorrect, Cypress Bay. Name the fort at the entrance to the harbor of Charleston, South Carolina that was the location of the first military engagement. Yes, Matt. Fort Sumter. Incorrect, it's Fort Sumner. Moving on to nationalities. The words dressing, revolution, and fries can all have what, Alfred? French. Yes. Flowers. What part of a flower that contains all the petals share its name? Tyler? Um, stamen. Cypress Bay. What part of a flower that contains all the petals shares its name with a popular Toyota automobile? Corolla. Authors. He has expanded his literary output to include the teenage boy Theodore Boone, who helped solve minor criminal cases. Name this American author famed. Yes, Alfred. Uh, Dan Brown. Incorrect, Cypress Bay. Name this American author famed for his legal novels like The Pelican Brief and his recent book, The Racketeer. William. John Grisham. Correct. Time. How many years pass between one US census and the next? Matt? 10. Movies. Give the two word term for the group of actresses who have all played a movie role that requires you to look great in a bikini, shoot bad guys, and kiss British secret agent. Yes, William? Charlie's Angels. Incorrect, Pompano Beach, and Kiss British Secret Agent 007. Tyler. Bond babes. Be Bond girls. Musicians, the song One Love was written by what late, yes, Austin? Bob Marley. Hockey, every member of its winning team is allowed 24 hours to do whatever they want. Craig? The Stanley Cup. Old Testament, which Old Testament prophet, famous for nearly sacrificing his son, is said, Sylvia? Abraham. Explorers. In 1513, what explorer became the first European to see the Pacific? Yes, Jake? Balboa. Elements. Like calcium, the vast majority of it in your body can be found in bones and teeth. Yes, Sylvia. Um, iron? Incorrect. Cypress Bay. Name this glow-in-the-dark chemical element. Yes, Jake? Neon? No, it'd be phosphorus. 
popes. During the Great Schism of the 14th century, two men both claimed to be Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. One ruled from Italy, while the other ruled, Sylvia? In France. Calculations. If you know the height and base radius of a round circular cone, you can find the cone's slant height by using what theorem, Jake? Pythagorean theorem. Multiple meanings. What plural noun designates either homes for colonies of certain insects or a skin condition whose symptoms include Alfred? Hives. Clothing. What motif appears on Ralph Lauren designer clothing? Austin? A horse. Incorrect. Cyprus? Jake? A jockey playing polo? Yes. Measurement. What word means 1 36th of a yard? Jake? Inch. Geography. What's the only country that borders both the Baltic and the Black Seas? Matt. Russia? Science. A new theory says it can vary significantly due to the nature of vacuum in space. For many years, scientists have thought its speed, Matt? The speed of light? World, it's a very close game right now. Tie, oh, five points, 10 points away. World Security, the Committee for State Security in the Soviet Union was better known worldwide as? William? KGB. Hometowns. These people were all born in what state? Arianda Grande, Ray Lewis, Jake? Florida. U.S. government. The first Monday of October marks the traditional beginning. Craig? Labor Day. Incorrect. Pompano Beach. The first Monday of October marks the traditional beginning of the term of what branch of government? Alfred. The legislative. Incorrect. Judicial. Word origins. Beware of this question. In the old Roman calendar, what word was used to denote Sylvia? The Ides of March. Incorrect. Uh, one second. Yes, Sylvia, the judges just told me they will accept that as a correct answer. Also, Cypress Bay will be receiving their 20 points for answering Fort Sumter correctly. All right, moving on. TV, Nova, Frontline, and Antiques Roadshow are all programs appearing. Matt? PBS. Correct. Ooh, there's a buzzer, and that sound brings the end to this quarterfinal round full goal match as Cypress Bay wins with 475 points beating Pompano Beach to their 400 points. Now, this win is putting Cypress Bay into the semifinals. So congratulations. Great job to everyone here today. And this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Jake from Cypress Bay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jake, on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And at this time, we'd like to thank you at home for watching and, of course, to all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website, schoolduel.tv, where you can find out even more about all of the schools involved this year, as well as vote on who you thought was the player of the week today. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as Miami Springs High takes on Shaman Madonna in the next quarterfinal round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.